Hey everyone, all the adventure. Welcome back to a brand new reaction video. Today it's just me, uh, no one else. There's no one behind me. Um, just my dad. I don't know where he is. Um, so today we're gonna be reacting to a uh, new Tom McDonald song, Balloons. Of uh, the music video, we've already heard the song. I mean, sorry, I've already heard the song. My dad's not anywhere to be found. <laughs> Get, come, come on, I'm coming. No. <laughs> but for real though, we have um already heard the song he's already heard basically the entire first album and um i have as well we just uh he just released the video for it today so we're really excited um because we both really like this song and it's been a little while since he's heard it so there'll, there'll probably be things that he'll catch that he didn't catch before because uh, he hasn't listened to the cd in a hot minute because i've had it with me a hot minute a hot minute because I've had it with me, so. Dang, look at Plug this in. Where's my other one? You know what? It might be upstairs. It is upstairs. So, we're going to set up and we will be right back. I'm going to record for a second. One, one more problem. I'm a heartbreaker. Dicker, I'm a hot trigger. Okay, let's get that. This. Uh, let's get balloons back up. You can stop. We're ready now, Dad. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. All right, here we go. So we got the video pulled up. We've already, again, we've already heard recording? the song, but he just... What? You record? I think so. I hope so. Double check. Yes, we're recording. Uh, we're live. We're live, Dad. All right, so we've already heard the song. Um, I've heard it a lot more than he has. Um, it's heard a, a few really times, good though. song. Uh, this is the music video. He just came out with it today. And so are you ready? Listen closely. There's probably things you didn't catch the first time. I know, baby. I'm ready. I am ready. You ready? I'm ready. All right. Three, two, one, go. <clears throat> I miss the days when no one even knew my name. <laughs> now everywhere I go, I wear a hat to hide my face. I got wet. That's pretty good, like, effects. <laughs> That's smart, too. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you, did you see the uh, cover art for the for that I song did not. too? I did not. It's like a. It's got like it's it's good because this song is about his mental health, right? Uh -huh. And it's about like people obviously like hating on him and right. you know feeling like he does too much and feeling like he ne or feeling like he never does enough or like like he's constantly working and he and it affects him. But the the cover art is a balloon, like a black balloon hanging down with a rope, and it's like tied around his neck. It's like metaphorical. Did you uh -huh. see that? I did not see that. All right, but that I thought that was pretty cool. That is good. Weapons hidden inside every room in my place. Now I have to keep a pistol on me always just in case. This is a nightmare. Never expected the fame to be something I would wrestle with and fight to embrace. Sometimes I feel like the love I get's outweighed by the hate. I hid the tears, but I can't hide from the pain. I'm working 20 hour days, can't even lie to y'all, I'm burnt out Asleep on my weight bench, trying to find the strength to work out Should be happy I'm successful, I just went and bought my first house Thought money would help cure my depression, but it's worse How? I'm tired of it, lucky I don't have a manager cause I'll be firing them Tired of talking to other artists who just want to tell me I'm inspiring them Parents keep telling me they have a kid and they're thankful the child is admiring me Great, wanna know how I feel? I'm like So that's a funny thing about the position that he is in is and i'm not making any excuses because i would love to have money and and have regular problems too but but uh yeah <clears throat> when you're in his spot he gets a bunch of hate and he gets a bunch of love and there he's never out, you know never not unsure of, of which one outweighs what but the thing is even the people that love him will stress him you know and cause anxiety oh yeah you know because they, they, they have well they want more they have certain expectations people say like he just said use the word inspire you know, he, he doesn't want to inspire. And if he inspires people, then fine, that's all, then so be it. But I don't think that's one of his goals. And it puts a lot of, it puts a lot of stress in there. I'm sad. I was hoping I'd have a little bit of caffeine, but no. Nope. Hmm. Yeah, I think I was <laughs> No, nah, man, it's just a, it's just a be careful Back what you wish for kind of thing. Just there's, oh, there's pressure, there's pressure and stresses. Yeah, man, that's, that's what I was looking at. Be very careful with that. <laughs> I almost just died. You're about died. to be on your ass. <laughs> I almost just it's died. It's like cockeyed. That piece is out. That's one. And this part's it. All right. Just you can keep through. talking. I'm going to get a chair. All right, I'll keep I'm talking. Chair. <laughs> we'll have a slight delay here. Yeah. Get the other one. That whole chair is falling apart. Look at it. All right, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Bring it here. Bring it here. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. this <laughs> That's what he's sitting on. And he just and this is trying, to make it, <laughs> trying to make it. Trying to fix it. All right, hold on. 
I so wish that had come apart. That would have been. <laughs> right. Yeah, that would have been good. All right. Go All get right, your chair. Go get, get your chair. All right, so anyway. <laughs> My oh, the whole piece came out. Second. Yeah, that's that's kind of crucial <laughs> to the uh, structural integrity of that chair. <laughs> anyway. That's, yeah, that's pretty crucial. All right, we got one that looks just like it. That promise is not right. the same one. Right. Okay, here we go. That was your fault, Back though. You're the one that grabbed that one. Back so. to it. Sorry for the extended delay there. Right, that's uh, stupidity that happens sure in our still house. recording. Because. Uh, no, all right, we're good. All right, we're good. Roll. There we go. So you already backed back it up. Let's all right. Parents keep telling me they have a kid and they're thankful the child is admiring me. Great. Why don't I know how I feel? I might kill myself before retiring. I'm in the clouds. I can't reach the ground. Coming in crowds, blew me up like a balloon and let me go. Watch me float away while I scream no. Every time I get close, they pull out their phones. Like maybe this time we can see them explode. Blew me up like a balloon and let me go. They are throwing rocks because they trying to poke holes. They want to see me pop, they don't want to see me blow. For the reason that I'm gone, they don't want to see me go. Blew me up like a balloon and left me. Yeah, and I, I love the whole comparison of him comparing himself to a balloon. Yeah, there's so many uh, metaphors you can put in there. Yeah. And I think just going back to what we were talking about a minute ago is is if you are a supporter of Tom, then just be that. Like, just be a supporter, you know? Like, uh, try not to put any undue pressure. You know, like he he posted that one picture that said, you know, it's got, it's got one guy that's upset. Well, I want a political song. And he said, I'm tired of political songs. Hey man, just do you. And that's the, what, that's what he wants us to be. He wants us to be, just do you, man. Whatever you put out, I'm going to support it. And I'm going to like it. That's what, yeah, that's man, what he yeah, needs. I'm here for wants. it. Yeah. I'm gone. They don't want to see me go. Blew me up like a balloon and left me. I miss the times when I could go outside. I didn't have to watch my back out of the corner of my eye. I didn't have to fake a smile and pose for pictures all the time. Can't even lie, I miss when time was really mine. Now I just belong to everybody else but me. These panic attacks are making it awful hard to breathe. Built a vocal booth inside the crib and stop making beats. Don't even rap, I stand inside of it and scream. Like this is not what I expected I worked my hands to the bone And my anxiety is triggered by the apps on my phone I tried deleting them so the internet would leave me alone But the lack of attention made me feel worse than before I'm sick of it all The internet watching me trip when I fall Embarrassed that everyone witnesses all My illness is in real time Man, I'm addicted to y'all Rappers on Twitter don't get me involved I'm posing for photos with fans in the mall And dying inside pretending I'm strong I'm not a celebrity, I am just tall When every Friday wasn't spent with my thing. So, yeah, uh, I was just going to say, uh, there's a big line there that says, uh, I miss the days that I'm just Tom or something like that. Or I know that I'm just Tom is in one of those I'm lines. not a celebrity, I'm just Tom. Yeah, and, and something, you know, believe it or not, there's actually a few celebrities out there that don't forget that they're actually not any more important than anybody else. <laughs> and those are the kind of celebrities that, that tend to be really down to earth do things for other people and things like that. And Tom strikes me as being that kind of way. Like he just wants to be Tom, no matter, you know, yeah, he's got a little bit of talent. He's got, he's got some skills. He's, he's put it out there and he's got a big following, huge following. I mean, Oh yeah. Uh, Almost like a cult. It's, 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 it's <laughs> not a lie. It's cult like, but, yeah. but, uh, and if he was to walk in, into that large group of people, man, people would probably just be going ape shit crazy for him. But deep down, I don't think he really wants that. You know, that's just a byproduct of what, yeah, he just he's wants established. to show the world. Yeah, and so, you know, he's the kind of guy I feel like if you were to meet him, he'd be really cool. Just want to hang with him, you know. Yeah. Have a, well, I guess not have a drink with him because he doesn't drink anymore. But, but uh, that kind of guy, did. that kind of mentality. But anyway, yeah, he doesn't need that un undue pressure from either his fans or his haters. 
Right, let's it's go. just Tom, baby. Let's go. I miss the years when every Friday wasn't spent with my therapist. Then I realized I hated fame and accepted I'm scared of it. I got Ativan, mm -hmm. Ciprolex, Xanax, and Seroquel in a Tupperware container. I don't touch, I just stare at them. Breathing exercise is supposed to help me to cope, but nothing works quite as good as a bottle of Jack and a smoke. I try to focus on my breath, but it gets stuck in my throat. This never happened back when I was young and happy and broke. I never thought I'd be the rapper all these rappers trying to be Posting 20 times a day, now I don't have no privacy Meeting with these major label CEOs with giant teams If y'all want to do business, why are y'all trying to lie to me? I'm bored of the fame Every time it feels fresh again, I'm getting more of the same Interviewers think they know who I am, they made up their mind before I explain Well, because you asked so nice, I guess I'll tell Ain't been feeling too hot lately, Jim, is there anything else? Great, cause lately, every day, I feel like I'm living in hell I'm glad the music helps you, but I might really kill myself when this magazine gets printed can you send one to my house i'd like to own a tiny piece of me like everybody else mm. Watch me. that's a strong line in mm. that song right there uh i'd like to own a little piece of me just like everybody else I yeah mean, that's like deep because yeah. like he's basically saying i have nothing for myself anymore right and he's not wrong what i would say to this and i was, I was gonna bring this up at the end but we're almost there now anyway probably just got the course to go on yeah but, but uh <clears throat> what I was gonna say is, uh, oh man, old man, <laughs> old man brain, old man problems just happened. <laughs> I had a thought. It's gone. <sighs> oh, it'll come no. back. All right, all right, maybe it'll, it'll come, come back. It'll... It was a good one too. Profound. Do you, to, do you want me to remind you what the what he just said? Or you go ahead, play. House, I'd like to own a tiny piece of me like everybody else. So, watch me float away while I scream no. Dave McDonald. Is that That's him. Let's see if there's anything at the end because this, yeah, is, this might go on, on for a little bit. Let it keep going. All right. Man, I'm hoping there was something. All, All right. right. Hold on. It came back to me. It came back. Go ahead. What I was going to say is, the part about the fame, maybe we can't relate to as much as just average Joe Smuckatelli as that we are. Joe Smuckatelli. Joe Smuckatelli. Joe Smuckatelli. But, <clears throat> a lot of the other things, as far as the things that he was talking about in his song, about stresses and where they come from, when it comes to uh, apps on your phone, or, and also referring, I'm sure, to social media and keeping up with all this stuff, you know, that can apply to all of us. And, uh, I think that Tom just needs to redefine the game, just like he's been doing with his whole with his whole. Uh, and I think he's already doing that. But there's a lot of there's a lot of people that are famous that don't stay on Twitter and don't stay on don't stay on Instagram. Yeah, they'll make posts here and there for the fans, but they make the post and they drop it, or somebody runs their account for them. You know, things like that. He can redefine all that. You don't have there's no there's nothing in his contract. Well, he doesn't even have contracts. He's independent. There's nothing in his life that makes him get on that stuff and do that stuff. Um, so when he is on there, when he's on the Facebook Live or the Twitter or yeah. whatever the case may be, he's doing that because he just wants to interact with his fans. Um, but he doesn't have to do that. And I say if it's if it's bothering you or by, like, and this goes for you and if it's bothering him, then just don't do it. There's nothing. There's nothing that's making people do that kind of stuff. So uh, like when I need a media break, man, I, I'll turn that crap yeah, off. I, and delete, I literally. Delete it by three months. He deletes his stuff, but I mean, I don't delete it. I just, I just log out of it for a while and just let it go. Well, I can't. I have to delete it for me because if I don't, I will. Temptation gets the best of me sometimes when it comes to that. So I gotta delete mine. But I love his mental health songs because they really apply across a broad spectrum of people. Because we're all got things. I wouldn't say it's necessarily mental health, but mental health. Everybody has mental health, and how good or bad it is depends on a lot of different factors. Um. Right. Learning to deal with emotions, I and mean, this is something he's a young man, and we go over this stuff all the time, and he still is learning it. And for a lot of you young men and women out there that might watch our videos or talk to or watch Mace or whatever, um, 
learning to deal with those emotions, especially heartbreak when you're going through relationships. Wow. In, per- in particular. <laughs> wow. In particular. You got to call me out like that, man. I, wasn't, I didn't say, I didn't call you out. But anyway, I just called going through things like that and dealing, learning how to deal with those in a positive manner is a crucial part to maintaining your own mental health. And um, it's not easy to do. It takes practice. Hopefully you don't get too much practice at it. <laughs> <laughs> that might but, be that might be a bad sign. That's not a good sign. Then you, then you may have other things you need to look at. But uh, yeah. but you're always gonna there's gonna be lots of disappointments and lots of heartbreak in your life. And so learning how to cope with that in positive ways and not resorting to drugs or alcohol. And, and I'm oh. guilty of alcohol. Okay, you know I'm guilty of that. You know we're no none of us are perfect. But a lot of the other things in my life that I've gone through, I've, I've managed to deal with in a much more positive way and compartmentalizing these aspects of my life. Um, and it's hard to teach that because a young man growing up and your young ladies out there, I'm sure have, have similar problems. It's, uh, your emotions will get the best of you a lot and you don't think very clearly. And I imagine when you look back, like after you calm down from whatever that situation was and you look back, you realize how poorly you may have handled that. And it's hard. It just takes practice to learn how to do that thing with your feelings and uh, to separate it from the rest of your life and then just and, and look at it objectively as to where you could have improved something or done something better or handled something better. And that's hard to do, too. But it comes along with that. And I'll teach it to him all the time. And he still flies off the handle a little bit. Um, but he's gotten what better. But he's gotten better. Got what, better. What, what can you do? Gotten a lot better I think it's a work in progress, and it, this goes with every every issue it that comes up while. in your life. Because um, I mean, I'm almost fifty, and you know, I still have issues that come up, and I still have to deal with it accordingly. And uh, you know, and so, there's still things that'll trigger me a little bit and set me off, and then I have to come down and reevaluate the situation. Um, so that never stops. I think that just learning how to cope with them properly is is the key. And knowing when you're in a, a vulnerable state. And uh, that's, that's when, knowing when you're the most susceptible to do stupid shit. And um, those are all things you got to learn as you get older and grow up. Um, there is no magic for that. So. Yeah. Great well, song. That's a great song. He's right. We have heard it. We are going to do the a, review, the album review. We it's not really a review. We're going to do a ranking. We're going to rank yeah. the albums. Yeah. And because uh, we're not going to play any music, you know. I mean, we the, could. You either you either, either buy heard the it, CD. You either heard it or you didn't. You either buy the CDs, give Tom, or, or get it from Tom some kind of way, or uh, whenever he releases it uh, publicly, like he did with this song right here, right now. I don't know if he's ever going to release something publicly. Anyway. But we will rank the songs. So those of you that have heard the songs will know what we're talking about. Maybe you got your own list that you kind of created. And we'll do each album on its own. Um, probably start with Us Versus the World because that's definitely my favorite album to go to. But they're both you haven't listened some, to that one yet. Have yeah, I listened to some of them. But they both got some killer tracks. Um, and when I say ranking, let's say what? There's about 20, 22 songs on each There's 19 on, on Us Against the World, 16 on the other one. All right. So they're all bangers. All right, so even if, even if you're number 19. Yeah, uh, it's just because it's low doesn't mean good. it's the bad one. It's still, it's, good. Good. it's still good. So we're going to do that coming up for you. We're going to try and get more regular uploads, which we've done this week. Uh, and throwing some extra content in there here and there. Yeah. A little Star Wars. Little, oh, yeah. A little Josh Hayes, a little out. video gaming. Um, I was going to do a live stream tonight. Yeah. Maybe I'll get on and play too. Oh, yeah. Some if games. you guys do want to see that. It will I played in his, la- in his last live stream when he was doing Oh, that one was game. funny. Uh, around you know, the middle. Yeah, cut around to a middle. I, Unless I, you want to watch it. I want to play a few games. And, that was funny. Uh, you know, I'm not a big time. I, I, I enjoy it, but uh, I'm not great. I'm average at best, uh, probably below average. <laughs> but, You're doing uh, pretty good for your first time playing that game. That was the first time I ever playing that game, too. But uh, Anyways. I just, have fun. Wanna, I just have fun with it. If you want to watch, if you want to watch... Well, I'll probably be streaming tonight because I got nothing to do. I so I'm going to have some alcohol in me tonight. Too. That'll be funny. <laughs> All right. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. That one was no alcohol. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He, he wasn't even <laughs> drinking anything, which is made, which made me question if, if he actually did or didn't drink anything. But mm-hmm. <laughs> hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. That was, very, that was a very quick outro. I feel like.
normally I have a longer outro. I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye, guys. Peace. Peace.